go, what are these fighters going to do? Not much damage dealt so far, but they may be looking for an opening to run with. How are they going to deal damage? What's the play here? Almost had it, but he gets blocked. Blocks the impact, but they're still pushed back. Maintains composure and pushes out of the corner. Escapes the corner to reset the situation. Brushes off the impact. Shoots off a fireball up close. Gets the counter hit throw. Well timed corner switch. So they break forward to pressure the opponent. Here near the end of the round. Can either fighter pull a rabbit out of their hat here? Throws them. What's next? Turns it up a notch and sends them to the corner. Heading into the end game now. It's getting tense. So little life left. Can't tech the throw. Takes a trip. Throws them to negate the block. Closing moments of the match. One hit's gonna do it. Player two will have to fight back here without any sneaks in the throw. Player one picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. Starting off with fireballs right from the get-go. Player one creates a good looking to impress. This super lands the gift to the side home. Going for that juicy, juicy damage. Now, can they finish the job? Player two holding on to that corner advantage. Goes for the jumping. Both drive rush to keep it going. Player two is worth this and leads to some big damage. Anti-air in the clutch. Willing to risk it for the overdrive. And they create an opportunity for themselves to seal the deal. Looking for a chance. Pumps the brakes on the impact. Excellent block. Player one, ah, uh, burnout activates. Uh, tries to act quickly, but with the attack. Solid and Player two turns out. Oh boy. Both running and closes it out. A blow up here. Jumps in. The low is denied. Finds the time to squeeze in above. Both fighters are pretty much unscathed. How are they going to deal damage? What's the play here? There's a punish counter. This can lead to something very big if they can capitalize. That's a feature you can't just throw out moves. Punishes that ill-timed attack with a drive attack. Very bad choice there. That's how you capitalize on an opponent's mistake. Get the punish counter by waiting for the opponent to whip an attack and then strike without hesitation. I wonder how both fighters will adapt to what we've seen so far. But it adds a little super juice into this combo for more damage. Knockdown. Player two. Oh! Baits out the attack and gets the punish counter. Very solid. Drive rush to keep it going. They need to rely on their instincts. Blocking that drive impact is in there. Player one takes the round like a thief and they get away with it. They both show their hands a little bit, so they must be thinking of a counter. Player two kept their drive gauge topped off through that round and still took the win. Guess they didn't need it. Mm. Taking stock. Looks like they want to put a new spin on things with that fireball. You know their fireball game is solid because they're only throwing it when their opponent can't jump them. They may be planning to spend their drive gauge here. Both fighters will have to decide whether they want to go with an all-out offense powered by their drive or play it safe and conservative. Fights out of the corner. It's a good spot to use the super. Lands the get to the side hole. Going for that juicy, juicy damage. They must have a game plan here with a critical art on deck, but executing that plan is the key. The corner throw ends it. Wants to keep the ball rolling. Everything up until now, and everything from here on out, is so vital. Holds out with a block. Ink brings out the super art. Hmm, how is it going to work out for them? Player one needs to use the threat of the corner here. They gotta be careful not to overextend or their opponent might go for a side switch. Looking for a chance. Barely blocks the jump in. Blocking a jump in attack means you're at a disadvantage. So they should be looking to anti-air instead. Rising uppercut. Goes, rushes that off and keeps going. 
It's a good spot to use the super. Lands the gets to the side hole. Going for that juicy, juicy damage. Good instincts to spend resources while they have them to tack on more damage. Experiencing burnout. Doesn't let up and gets the stun. This closes it out. This is the final round. Expect to see some fireworks. Open with a jump in? Final round. Who will the fighting game gods favor here? Player two took that round comfortably. No need to bring out the big guns yet. That's a big gap. Who's going to close it? Out of range. Relatively safe. You expect to see some fancy stuff as we're near the end of the round. Both fighters will have to decide whether they want to go with an all-out offense powered by their drive or play it safe and conservative. Player two can let the distance lead to some big damage. Cross that off. You side switch. Switch side. No heavy. Player two with the rhythm. Tony corrects them. Noticeable life lead. Is a comeback still possible? No resources to work with. They gotta do this the old trick them with the critical speed. Such a smart play to go for in this situation. Fighting back against the odds and giving them a chance to win this. The drive impact doesn't work. Both willing to risk it for the overdrive. The answers with a fireball. are looking for a way to get in, but there's still time to feel out the situation. Hmm, how are they going to deal damage? What's the play here? On dangerous turf. Easy to get tagged at this range. No heavy. What's the play here? Does a good job of pushing back. Escapes the corner to reset the situation. The super armor does its job. The drink level's up to four. All options are on the table. Nice. Sees the combo through and takes the round. Player two picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. Big gap between the two fighters, so they throw out a fireball. Player two kept their drive gauge topped off through that round and still took the win. Guess they didn't need it. Gets backed into the corner with pressure building. Keeping them in the corner will only produce more damage opportunities. Player one will want to take advantage of their meter lead while they have it. Hits them with his free throw. Drive rush to keep it going. Player two holding on to that corner advantage. That combo hit raw critical. What's going to happen? Not much life left, but the finishes with the throw. We're finally ready to begin this long-awaited fight. Our players look primed and ready. Player one creates a good corner opportunity. Buy some time by driving them into the corner. And now they can create some big chances to do damage here. Player one has the life lead. Can they exploit this advantage? What are these fighters thinking now? A good chance here to recover the drive gauge or figure out the next step. The drink levels at four. All inhibitions are out the window. No heavy. All right, what's coming up next? Player two is maintaining the corner position for some juicy damage. The quarter makes it hard to escape. What'll be the setup here? Gets a normal hit from the drive impact. They're still good. Life lead opens up. The jump in is denied. Knockdown. Impact finish. It was more than enough. Round Player two. two picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. Throws them to negate the block. Grabs them. Player one chases them down. Huge opportunity here with no way to back dash out of danger. Opt for the free flow kicks to get a drink in. Pulse with a medium kick. You've got to be mindful of reach and jump ins at this range. Player one is working with a better game. What can they do with it? Level three super. Checking that meter like it's nobody's business. 
player one will have to deal with this danger without a burnout for a while. Quick breather. Player one experiencing burnout. Not much life difference. Player one holding on to that corner advantage. Smart play with the throw. Player one is in a pretty good situation with the meter advantage. Fades out the low kick. Blocks it. Barely blocks the jump in. There's space now, they can use drive. Oh, could be the start of something. Player one with the rhythm owning that chase. Both fighters planning something? This is gonna hurt. Free motion forward rush. Closes in and out. Close to done. The throw misses. Nails the anti-air. Tries to turn up the pressure with an overdrive projectile. Okay, we're in the early stages of the round. He uses this opportunity to really lay into the opponent with a damaging combo. What's going to follow the combo? Oh! Player two chases them down. Buys some time by driving them into the corner. And now they can create some big chances to do damage here. All right, what's coming up next? Sticks the combo. Decent damage. What's next? Hmm, taking stuff down to the wire. Beautiful setup with that attack. Takes a trip. Player one creates a good corner opportunity. Knockdown. Ah, burnout activates. Life Needle ends the meter, hoping for a good return. Player one has depleted their drive game, but they are still within range to win this round. Oh, God, this is tense. K.O. Decides not to rush in without a plan. The last round. All oh, the throw connects. Breaks the block with a throw. That throw will do some good damage. Throws him. Oh, here we go. Oh, you, oh my god, they just jumped it up. You can't really care. You can't jump driving, Max. The player's turning it right up with a super. Spends it all on the super. Not just one bit about it. This might be a pivotal super art. There's the counter we wanted. What now? Player knocks him out of the air. Player one, overhead attack. Hit wall flat, hit to the guard break. Player one, they think this time to bust this out? Oh, combo, throws in 